In the last session, we have focused our discussion on understanding the concept of a cell as fundamental structural and functional unit of life. Once you have understood this concept well, some more questions will arise in your mind about nature of cells. Are all cells alike? Do all cells carry out identical activities? Are all organisms which appear different are made up of similar cells? In the current session, we will study diversity in cells with respect to their structure and function. Let us begin our session by considering our body. Do you know how many cells are there in human body? On an average, our body is made up on 30 to 40 trillion cells. Now I guess you understand that all these cells are not of same type. There are about 200 different cell types which make up tissues and eventually organs and parts of our body. Though the cells of our body have similar basic structural and chemical features, they are of different size, shape or form, have different lifespan and specialized to perform certain unique functions. As seen in this picture, red blood cells are small circular disc-like cells which perform the function transporting oxygen to various parts of the body. The muscle fiber cells are spindle-shaped elongated slender cells that undergo contraction and relaxation and enable movement and locomotion of the body. Neurons are cells of nervous system that carry information in form of nerve impulses from various body parts to brain and vice versa. The epithelial cells are polygonal cells compactly arranged which are usually involved in giving protection to internal and external organ, absorption and secretion. White blood cells are involved in protecting the body from harmful disease organisms and viruses, toxic substances, etc. The lifespan of red blood cells is about 120 days while lifespan of white blood cells is 13 days. The cells that complete their life cycle die and are replaced by young cells of the same type which are produced by process of cell division. You will study the process of cell division in higher classes. Whatever we have discussed so far with human body is largely applicable to most of living organisms that we see around ourselves like other mammals, birds, reptiles, worms, insects, fishes, etc. and also to most other lower animal forms and plants. However, we also need to note that cells of plants and animals are structurally different from each other. Let us now focus on some details about basic structural differences in plant and animal cells. Most plant cells are usually larger in size as compared to most of the animal cells. Plant cells have fixed rigid shape due to presence of outermost rigid cell wall whereas animal cells do not have fixed rigid shape or are pleomorphic. The picture shared here illustrates common and differential structural features of plant and animal cells. So far in our session, we have concentrated on structural and functional aspects of cells by focusing on examples from animal and plant categories. Before we continue further, we ought to remember that living things or organisms also include a large variety of microorganisms which are present in our surroundings in large numbers but are mostly invisible to the naked eye. In order to study more about microorganisms, we need to understand grouping of cells into two categories namely prokaryotic and eukaryotic based on absence or presence of nucleus. Prokaryotic cells. The word prokaryotic has Greek origin. Pro meaning before or first and karyo meaning nut or kernel denoting the round globular nucleus. The nucleus is membrane bound globular or spherical cell organelle which contains genetic information of the cell. 
The primitive type of cells that came into existence as life originated on the planet did not show presence of membrane bound nucleus or any other membrane bound cell organelle in their cytoplasm. Thus, these cells are termed as prokaryotic cells. The genetic material in these cells comprises of only one chromosome made up circular DNA which is located in the nucleoid region of cytoplasm without any membrane enclosing it. So, in prokaryotes, the genetic material is not separated in well-defined manner from the cytoplasm. Prokaryotic cells are much smaller in size as compared to eukaryotic cells. Commonly, their cell size is in the range of 1 to 10 micrometers. Eukaryotic cells. The prefix eu means true or genuine and karyo just as mentioned previously refers to the nucleus. Thus, cells containing well-defined membrane bound cell organelle carrying genetic material inside it termed as nucleus along with other membrane bound cell organelles are termed as eukaryotic cells. The genetic material is usually made up of many linear thread-like structures called as chromosomes. All chromosomes are enclosed in double membrane and well separated from the cytoplasm. These cells came into existence much later on the planet and are supposed to have evolved from prokaryotic cells. Most of the eukaryotic cells are larger in size compared to prokaryotic cells. Their cell size is in the range of 5 to 100 micrometers. Other major differences in prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells are as illustrated in these pictures and table. Definitions, description, eukaryotic cell, prokaryotic cell. Organisms, plants, animals and fungi have eukaryotic cells. Only bacteria and cyanobacteria have prokaryotic cells. Cell wall. For animals, it is not present in eukaryotic cell. For plants, it is present in eukaryotic cells. Cell wall is present in prokaryotic cells. Centrioles. It is present for all animals and some lower plant forms in eukaryotic cells. Centrioles are not present in prokaryotic cells. Olea and flagella. Simple flagella is present in eukaryotic cell. In prokaryotic cell, it is present in a complex form. Golgi complex, present in eukaryotic cells, not present in prokaryotic cells. Lysosomes, common in animals, not present in plants for eukaryotic cells, not present in prokaryotic cells. Peroxisomes, present in eukaryotic cells, not present in prokaryotic cells. Nucleus, present in eukaryotic cells, not present in prokaryotic cells. Plasma membrane, present in eukaryotic cell, also present in prokaryotic cells. Chromosomes, in eukaryotic cell, several chromosomes are present. In prokaryotic cell, one long DNA strand is present. Ribosomes, present in eukaryotic cell, present in prokaryotic cell. Endoplasmic reticulum, present in eukaryotic cell, absent in prokaryotic cell. I hope now you have understood major structural differences between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. Let us now revise the concepts that we have covered in this session. 1. We have studied different types of cells based on various criteria. 2. We have focused on basic structural differences between plant cells and animal cells. Three, we have focused on explaining concepts of prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell types. Four, we have taken into account the basic structural differences between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. In case you have difficulty in understanding any of the above points, please go through the session again. Now, can you find answer to these questions? One. Which are the cell organelles that are present only in plant cells? 2. What is the outermost covering or limiting structure in plant cells? 